There's been some news in the Islanders prospect pool with player, at least one player moving to a new team and one seemingly moving at one point. Uh, so let's just talk about the one player who moved, where they're going, who it is, so on and so forth, and what happened with that other player and why it wasn't actually a move. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Do not miss a video. Also, go to Twitter, follow at TLO Mitch. That is me. Don't miss any breaking information about Islanders prospects I've yet to share on the channel. So like I said, there are two moves that I want to talk about. First is Thomas Mahu, and second is Alex Simalanen. Let's first talk about Alex Simalanen. So in reading a recent prospect report on the from the Islanders themselves, they indicated that Alex Simalanen had been sent on loan to mess this squad. And that surprised the heck out of me, because I hadn't heard about that, I hadn't seen that. EP transfers had nothing on it, so I was scrambling, going, what is going on here? Did they actually send him away from Yip? That can't, why would they do that? He was their top pair defenseman. Why would they send him to the Mestis League if the U20 squad is still going to play? So a lot of scrambling there. It turns out, when I spoke to the CEO of Kuepa, what happened was that they had injury issues. And Kuepa is essentially the farm team, and I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. T is going to correct me for sure. Um, they're essentially the farm squad for, for Yip. And so they are riddled with injuries, and they called up a player, called down a player uh, to fill a void. And so that's what happened for one game. He played one game for Kuepa, and that was it. That's all. Uh, he might go back at some point if there's another injury concern. Uh, but as it stands now, there's nothing really there. It was just kind of filling a void. So Alex Simalanen did not move on from Yip to a Mesta squad permanently or even on loan for the rest of the season. That was really just a one-game deal. Then there's Thomas Mahu. That's the seventh-round pick from 2021. He's in the U.S. now. He's no longer in the Czech Republic. He is now going to be playing for the Youngstown Phantoms for the remainder of the season. Um, thank you, Sam Olmsted, for bringing that to my attention. Uh, again, that was something that has eluded EP transfers, that it's eluded everyone, so it never really came up to my attention until Sam was like, hey, uh, you should check out the roster because Thomas Mahu's there. Sure enough, get in touch with Youngstead, and they're like, yeah, he's been here for a couple of weeks. He's going to be here for the year. They will start playing on uh, January 7th, so that's going to be his first game. Now, the question is, is that a step down for him, moving from the second-tier Czech League to uh, the USHL? And technically it is. Uh, when you look at the translation factors for both leagues, um, the Czech second division is a little bit higher than the USHL. USHL compares to essentially the OHL in terms of strength of competition compared to the rest of the leagues around the world. Um, now, is that a bad thing? I wouldn't say so. Uh, so yes, technically it's a step down in terms of the opposition, the quality of opponents he'll be facing. But there is such a notion as he's going to be familiarizing himself with a North American style of hockey on a North American sheet of ice, right? He's not playing on the bigger sheets. He's not playing a European game. He's playing a North American game in North America. And that's worth something. Sure, lower quality competition, uh, but it's not to say that the USHL is a bad league. It is not. It is a good league. Now, this has been in works for a while. And by this, I don't mean a move to the Youngstown Phantoms, although I'm sure this wasn't something that just happened yesterday. Uh, he has been there for a couple of weeks. But what I mean is a move to the US and specifically the USHL. You'll remember at the beginning of the year, he was supposed to go to the Omaha Lancers, but that broke down. So he's always or has been trying to get to the U.S. for a while now. And now he's finally getting that move. Uh, so yes, it's a step down, but this is a step in the direction that Thomas Mahu has been wanting to take for a while. So he's consciously making this step to the USHL, clearly to start his adaptation period to a pro game at the North American level. His eyes are firmly fixed on being a North American pro. And that's a good thing, even if he's just a seventh round pick. So that's the movement I wanted to talk about. Mahu is going to a new team and Alexi Malin did not join a new team. I wanted to clear both of those up uh, just so you know as much as I know. So thank you for watching. Thank you for following. If you have not subscribed yet, hit the button. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you.